What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another search engine optimization tip video. In today's tip video, I'll be walking through what it means in Google Search Console when you have URLs that are uh, designated as crawled, but currently not indexed. So in a nutshell, this basically means that Google was able to crawl and discover your web page, but has decided not to index it for uh, a myriad of reasons. So we can infer based on this status that Google doesn't view the web page to be valuable enough to index in the search results. So a couple of reasons why this may be the case for your website is one, you have multiple URLs that have duplicate content. So if you have, let's say three or four page variations that are duplicates or near duplicates, Google will decide maybe to index one of those pages and not index the other three because they all have the same or similar information. Google may also uh, view some of your web pages to have thin content, and this is uh, problematic on um, e commerce websites with their product listings, where if you have a web page with maybe 300 words or less, this isn't a valuable experience to most users. And that's what Google perceives your web page to be is not valuable because of the thin amount of content. And so it may choose not to index that page as a result. Um, it could also be an issue in which um, these pages either have like no index tags on them or faulty canonical tags that are confusing Google. So, um, as far as fixes for some of these common problems, well, first you want to make sure that this web page uh, isn't marked incorrectly in Search Console. So just doing something like a site search for that URL to make sure that you know it actually isn't being indexed in Google. And if you see it here, then it is indexed. So no um, correction is needed. The next step is just doing a site audit for your web pages. So uh, based on what you see here, are these pages, uh, do they have thin content? Do they have duplicate content? And so either beefing up those pages with more content and components um, to help with that thinness factor, or if you have near duplicates flagged, um, basically just either trying to integrate more unique content by adding like dynamic tags in the case of product listing pages so they are more unique and stand out. A couple of other use cases um, in which this might be flagged is, well, one, uh, if you have like an RSS feed on your website, um, no action is typically needed there, mainly because... The RSS, I'm sorry, RSS feed is picked up via like a XML sitemap document. And so indexing uh, that XML doc and showing that the users in the search results isn't valuable. Um, it's just a giant mess of HTML code. And so no action is needed there. This is also somewhat similar with uh, issues with pagination or tag pages where Google can crawl and discover new content on your website via these tag pages or uh, pagination with your category pages, but it might not necessarily be relevant to show them in the search results for users compared to the actual articles themselves. So again, no action is needed there. And the final use case is just looking to see um, if there are no index tags added on your pages and removing these if that shouldn't be there or taking a look to see if you have 301 redirects in place. So what might be happening is if you have an old page that you three are, I'm sorry, are 301 redirecting to the new page, Google may still be picking up the old page in the search results. And so the new page may be um, crawled, but not indexed as a result. And so adding a temporary XML sitemap to your website with those new pages will help Google them more often and pick up on them 
and it'll eventually um, take the place of the old 301 redirect uh, in the search results. It might take three to six months, but that's another way to kind of speed up that process. So hopefully you found these tips to be helpful. If you did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all for the next search engine optimization tip video.